If you are hyped and excited for NBA 2K21, man, make sure I watch the entire video so you got a chance to win this giveaway I'm doing, man, a console and next-gen copy and also current-gen copy. I'm doing three giveaways, maybe more. Depends on how much love and support I get, man. Make sure you watch the entire video for all the leaks, the news, the gameplay, trailers, whatever comes out, man. I got y'all. If you hit that like button in the next five seconds, Ryan 2K is going to take away all your players, man. I wouldn't risk it. I said, fuck school, probably because I made more than my teachers. I ain't learning a single lesson. Come on, baby, I can teach you. I'm a high fool. Mama said I'm smoking too much reefer. Hit the plug and then I re up. Used to flip kicks up at recess. YouTube, back on another video, man. Literally, these builds are all trash. They're so patched. Uh, I've been like pulling hair out trying to figure out, you know, what's the best build. These builds are really patched this year. Like, I don't know what they expect. Um, like, hit 99 must be like a plus 10 or something because these builds are, are trashed. Right now, if you clicked on this video, this is for the best point guard build in NBA 2K21 so far. Um, my video, my other videos have been going crazy, so I appreciate that. And yeah, just like keep watching the videos, keep liking, keep subscribing, and stuff like that. I'm still doing the giveaway, just gotta figure out when I'm gonna stream. So, yeah, man, before we get into the video, make sure y'all subscribe, turn on notice, man. Um, every sub, every like, every share helps. And yeah, man, without further ado, I got y'all with this build. All right, so man, look, it, it's like they only want you to do you know, one or two things. Like, they were not allowing you, like last year, like a two-way slash and playmaker could literally do everything. Like a BP could do three out of the four things. It's kind of hard when, when you're making the build to make it like, oh, this build could do this, this build could do that. Like, that's why I think Michael Jordan's build is gonna be hard to make people like that because they do a lot well. So it's like, you know, how can I make out of these pie charts a build that does everything well for this build we want to go with this pie chart i know this pie chart can probably speed boost like when you drop his height and his wingspan and stuff like that but i think this build is better on the defensive end it gets an 80 still and the lateral goes up and stuff like that so and it's better playmaking this build is better finishing to, which makes no sense to me click this pie chart man it's the evenly split green and yellow pie chart i just picked the speed physical and then for the close shot, I would go 70 to start off. Go like a 71 driving layup. Uh, and then max out your driving dunk. That's really it. You're not going to be able to get finishing badges and stuff like that. It's really hard uh, this year when it comes down to stuff like that. Max out the shooting. Um, I, you can touch the post fade if you want to post fade. I wouldn't touch it. I would go for 20 shooting badges, so an 83 free throw. Um, 87 three-pointer and then I max out mid-range for the pass and accuracy I would max that out and then or no drop one for the pass and accuracy go to 87 pass accuracy 87 ball handle max out the defensive rebounder for the defense go 80 still 75 lateral 75 perimeter so now we got 55 badge points left if you wanted to uh, you can maybe put it on finishing uh, it's kind of hard to get you know finishing badges on this build you will only be able to get like um, two finishing badges, you know, defense. So you can get nine, maybe 10. Yeah, you can get 10 uh, defensive badges, which kind of makes you almost like a two way. Um, that's pretty good, right? 51 badge points. I mean, max out my interior. So this, this is how I would do I would go 44 block and then everything else on the defense max. I think that build, you know, allows you to actually be able to play defense this year, but you just can't finish as well, which is, I mean, you shooting threes and passing the ball. So body types up to you. Height, I would keep him 6'3". Uh, maybe drop him down to 6'2". Kind of up to you. I think you can go 6'2". You can go 6'2". You can mess with the weight. Go like 165 weight. Because our goal is to try to get um, 99 speed. We want 99 speed. Um... If you really want cared about your wingspan, I guess you could max it, but that would affect your shooting too much to me. Uh, I would go minimum wingspan also because the dunk really doesn't matter. Uh, I know it affects your defense, but it's not even by that much. So, yeah, for the takeover, up to you. You could go sharp or playmaking. Personally, I would go sharp. I think sharp takeover is overpowered. allows you to shoot contested, stuff like that. Uh, and you're more of a threat, I think, with sharp takeover. So personally, on all my you know point guard builds that can dribble and shoot threes, I'm picking sharp takeover. 
and then you get the playmaking shot creator archetype. So they say Stephen Curry, Damian Lillard, Kevin Johnson, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right, so for the finishing badge, like I said earlier, consistent finisher. For the shooting, no quick draw, so we can go range extender, uh, go clutch shooter, that's an important badge. Hot start is important. Volume shooter is important. Go green machine, go hot zone hunter. With the two left, I'll probably go like difficult shots or dead eye or something like that. We'll see how dead eye works this year. It might have changed, I don't know. It's probably the same though. So yeah, that's what I'll run for the shooting, for the playmaking. I go floor general hands for days, quick for step, unpluckable bell out, needle threader, and then maybe dimer. I just because I don't know how ankle breaker works this year. Like, can you break ankles without the takeover? Can you make people fall without the takeover? We'll figure all that out. But for now, just run like dimer, floor general, unpluckable stuff like that. I probably would take off dimer and throw in like space grid or ankle breaker and then drop my unpluckable and stuff like that. Once I figure out how it works, so for defensive badges, bow, bow, go intimidator, go interceptor. It's crazy how I really have, you know, this many defensive badges on this build. That last year this was impossible. I don't think you could make a play shot and have ten defensive badges and still be able to get twenty and twenty, which I think is good. But I'm gonna show all these badges real quick. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video, man. So, yeah. That's really it. Um, my video's been going crazy. Keep it up, man. Like, I, I just, I appreciate everything. You know, if I blow up this year, if, you know, if I get 40, 50, 60, 70, however many K, it's appreciated. Like, it doesn't matter. 20 K is appreciated. 10 K is appreciated. Like, whatever I get is what I get, and that's my place, and I just got to keep growing, so... Yeah, man, make sure y'all like the video, make sure y'all share the video, make sure y'all subscribe, uh, and I'm out.